today we're going to talk about the points to remember in the management of 15 ppm bilge alarm of the bilge separator under the marple regulations yung accuracy verification checking ng 15 ppm bilge alarm oil content monitor must be conducted every five years so this is subjected to the IOPP or International Oil Pollution Prevention Certificate Certification Renewal. So pag nag-renewal tayo ng IOPP, kasabay na rin yung accuracy verification checking ng 15 ppm bilge alarm. Number 2. In accordance with IMO regulations, yung mga qualified engineers lang yung pwedeng makapag-inspect, mag-repair, at mag-certify ng accuracy ng oil content monitors. So, hindi pwede yung mga taga-barko na mag-certify ng accuracy ng oil content monitor. Dapat yung mga qualified engineers lang as per IMO regulations. Kadalasan dito yung mga nag-qualified na engineer yung mga galing maker. Yung gumawa ng 15 ppm bilge alarm oil content monitor. Kasi nagpapacertify pa sila dun sa IMO para makapag-inspect sila, repair at makapag-certify ng accuracy. Tapos, number 3, yung mga seal sticker na nakalagay dun sa oil content monitor, dapat hindi ito tinatanggal. Kasi it's a violation of IMO regulation. Tampering kasi siya. Seal tampering. So, pag binaklas mo yung selyo o yung sticker, na kinabit ng certified engineer no nag-IOPP certification test ito ay magiging violation sa IMO regulation so napaka bawal ito kasi magkakaroon ng interpretation na ginagalaw mo yung oil content monitor na hindi naman pwedeng galawin kasi Masyadong stricto yung pag pag monitor nito dahil malaki yung fine kapag napatunay na nagtatamper off ka nito. Tsaka ina-adjust mo siya nang walang pa yung tulot galing sa IMO. Number 4 yung date and time na nagkandak ng inspection or adjustment ay recorded sa memory card ng oil content monitor. So, for your information, may memory card ang oil content monitor. So, on board ship, wag na wag kayong gagalaw na kahit anong parts other than those specified by the inspection instruction manual. Dahil napaka-sensitive ito. Hindi mo pwedeng buksan, hindi mo pwedeng galawin yung memory card nito dahil kapag itong memory card nawala or nasira or may binago ka dito, it's also a violation of the IMO regulations. Pwede kang mapatawan ng kaso dito na pwede mong ikamulta or pwede pang ikakulong mo. So, wag na wag gagalaw ng kahit ano na hindi naman sinasabi ng manual. Tapos, yung memory card nito ay used to keep a record of bilge discharge system operations over a period of 18 months. So, you must maintain records nung nakaraang 18 months. Kasi yung 18 months ito, ito yung nandun sa IMO regulations 
na dapat magkaroon ka ng file or archive minimum ng 18 months. So, yung memory card, nandun na rin sa memory card na yun. Tapos, lastly, yung battery ng oil content monitor dun sa pag-monitor ng oras o yung battery ng clock ay back up lang ito in case of magkaroon ng blackout. So, every 2 years, kasi ang service life lang ng battery ay 2 years, dapat palitan na ito ng bago para hindi na rin siya pumalya kapag in case of blackout. So, yun lang yung mga points to remember kapag magmamanage ka ng 15 ppm bilge alarm content monitor. So, dapat tanda ito mga points to remember dahil napaka-sensitive ito, nitong oil content monitor. So, yun lang. Thank you.